Awesome. Okay. Well, that you know, that's another thing we recommend with you guys. If you are, let's say you're just getting started, you want to zero, you want to focus on one or two strategies that you can learn, get good at, get comfortable uh, pitching or negotiating with your seller. So if you're focusing on traditional wholesaling, okay, then that's your main priority to learn and the deal that you will um, uh, start structuring or negotiating with your particular sellers. Now, if you find yourself in a position where you are not talking to four to five sellers per day, you need to update your marketing. Whether you do more or you optimize it, you need to find a way to bring in more leads so that you're talking to four to five sellers a day. If you aren't, all right, and let's say, um, Somebody here typed in an urgent question. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely tackle that one. Uh, we'll, we'll clarify that one on there. Um, if it's a lead that doesn't look very familiar to you, but the homeowner is motivated, or they're interested in having a conversation, or they will simply give you the time of day, right? Um, but it's not looking like a straight 10, 20 cents on the dollar. Um, maybe you need to get a little creative on the deal bring it into the 9 a.m. session, send us a message in the forum or uh, contact us by email or through the support phone numbers that you have access to so that we can get um, somebody on our investment team or some feedback on uh, a different type of deal that you can structure so that you can monetize and make the most of whatever lead had come in um, and, uh, you know, and monetize it, right? Maybe it's not a straight out a wholesale deal, but you can do some sort of owner financing. You can structure a rent to own on even junker properties. Uh, but again, there are certain criteria, certain disclosure, uh, disclosures or um, uh, contingencies in the document to protect all parties involved. And you want to make sure you have somebody who's consulting or working uh, with you on the deal. If they're not consulting for you for a minimal flat rate, uh, flat rate fee, um, then um, offer a joint venture so that the person that you are, you know, talking to and, you know, it takes up their time, it's, uh, you, you are leveraging their experience and expertise, you are still able to make 50% of something as opposed to 100% of nothing. Now, if you can negotiate pretty well and, you know, pay only 10% uh, on a joint venture fee, then, you know, props to you. Um, but for me, if, you know, I would be okay with 50% of something, especially if I am leveraging uh, somebody else's expertise. It's something I, I would have never been able to do anyway. Um, then I'm open to, you know, collaborations in those joint ventures. So uh, if it's not familiar to you, bring it into the session so we can help structure some of those um, uh, creative financing or owner financing deals.